So, good morning. I'm going to say good morning to my... Oh, hang on. Sorry, we close that because shower times. There's other apartments that can see around where we walk. But basically, look at the girls. Say hi. So, have we been doing some training? We have, haven't we? Yep. And today we're getting what? More toys? Yeah. More toys? Yeah. They're both doing well with training. So I'm training them to eventually... Well, hopefully they can speak soon. No, they probably will end up speaking because I don't shut the fuck up. We all know that. Um, but basically, I'm going to teach them to go on my hand and I have to be patient and every day I do training. No matter how long it takes. Um, look, I've done my research. Some people say a month. Some people say, depending on the personality of the bird, it could be a few months. So, yeah, I'm really excited about the training that I'm doing with them. Um, they are my little friends, and I love them. So, today we're going to get... Um, sorry, out of breath. Oh, and there's a cat under here. <laughs> Do you want to say hi? Or are you rather comfortable since the beds are being changed with the sheets? Yes, rather comfortable, aren't we, son? Yeah, my fluffy son's rather comfortable. Um, nice, nice to join us, sir, Junior. Oh, we've got itchy ear now. Okay, Mummy will get that later. Sometimes I have to rub cream on his ears. The air conditioning and heating dries him out. So, oh, sometimes I have to put a little bit of cream on his ears. That's pathetic, isn't it? <laughs> and Tinkerbell's doing great. So Tinkerbell's over there. She's happy. She, she's used to her chest now. She was a little afraid of it at first. She'd swim around it. And she's like, what's that? What's that? But she's fine now. Um, so tomorrow is my cardiologist appointment. So we've had to get everything in order for paperwork because 22Q, you know, not a simple appointment whenever it's 22Q. Um, the most common... Um, most common cause of our departure is cardiac. So this is an important appointment. And with my symptoms, as you know, of what's coming, what's really actually going on, what we know is going on, we know what's going on. So it's important appointment. So we've got to go to Officeworks, we've got to get that printed off because we don't have at home printer, it's cheaper for us to do it at Officeworks. So we're gonna do that. Um, and I wanna get some, like I said, more bird you can see I'm tired, can't you? Um, more bird. I woke up at two this morning. I don't know why. There was actually, no, I do know why. There was a hovering car somewhere around us. And I could hear it. And I was like, I was like there's a car just hovering. Just, you know, hmm. I was like, please go away. It's two in the morning. Anyway. Um, so basically, we are going to get some bird toys um, because now that I've done my research, um, which is what I was waiting for, to buy more things. Look, I've bought things from Shein that I know is okay for them, um, but I want to buy some toys that I have now learnt that is good for them, um, things that will interest them because I want them to be happy, right? I want them to be happy. So, and then they've got their bird box on the way. Isn't that funny, the movie, bird box. Um, I've got the bird box on the way for feeding, because that's going to stop the feeding seeds going everywhere. They have their treats, you know, the um, mullet, I think they call it. Um, I used to give it to my cockatiel. Hang on, my finger's stuck. I used to give it to my cockatiel, and um, she loved it. Oh, my gosh, she loved it. So I'm going to use that for training as well as just fun, basically. So I'm going to do that. And I need to get a, sorry, I'm going to get a container for that. That's what I'm going to do for that. So I'm going to need to get a container to put it in so it's easy to just get bits out and put it all in. Because it gets a bit messy. There's crumbs at the bottom. But guys, if you have budgies, the little crumbs, you can use those little balls as like a little treat to praise them for doing, if you're training them, for doing what you want them to do. Um, so don't throw them out. Um... You know, you can use it in that way. Or you could just put it in like an extra food bowl as a treat. Now, I've also ordered from Shein the metal big dishes, which is going to be for um, fresh fruit. So 
so I will try and have fresh fruit for them regularly because that's healthy. And also, I need to arrange a bath. I have a spray bottle I bought from Shein as well. <laughs> so they're going to get a spray in summertime and they can have a little fun having a shower. But I want them to have a bath to play in. And also bathing is necessary for their health, right? For their overall health. So a few things for the budgies. So that's kind of a good focus. It's a happy focus because tomorrow is an appointment I, I really don't want to go to. I really don't want to go to. Um, I'm really sick of it. And guys, I had... Let me just lay down. <laughs> I've got Taylor Swift on today. It's a Swifty day. Um, don't worry about her. <laughs> um, hang on, coming up. So basically, um, we had a nurse visit yesterday for a visit and she was just an absolute bitch. So she's not going to be working with me. Bloody hell, was she's in, she was a heavy narcissist, guys, I'm telling you. She was off the planet, right? She just rambled random shit. She's a bit old. I think she needs to just fucking retire and just go get a hobby. She hates craft, hates art. I was like... Okay, you can say it a little bit gentler, but anyway, okay, yeah, so, no thank you, <laughs> she's just in it for twilighting money because she works during the day, so it's like, fuck off, like seriously, we're dealing with some serious shit here, we don't need some, some selfish, you know, because we're, we're bait, guys, you've heard people say in the news, and it's true, I have a massive package, I am bait, to these people they love my money and they're just full of shit they're just yeah some good ones though but they're hard to find but i'm hoping with the new system with all of the changes they're making that these kinds of people just put off trying to milk us all right but yeah so opinionated it's like oh are you a doctor <laughs> Like, seriously, sweetheart, you're not a doctor. You're especially not a doctor of, like, 22 kids. <laughs> Even the hospital admits it's difficult, and you think yourself as a, just a nurse. Sorry, I know there's some good nurses who do know a lot of stuff, actually. There is some, but she wasn't one of them. She definitely wasn't one of them. Um, she had no proof of it in her stories. Um, and she just asked irrelevant questions so it's like um yeah it's about health here darling I, I i don't know why you want to know weird stuff why you want to talk about the snake bite girl in the news it's like yeah no we know about that we know that hospital very well yeah they do that they've been doing that for decades sweetie yeah yeah no it's kind of why i'm like i am now late diagnosed <laughs> yeah no i know all about it sweetie shut the fuck up Right now. Anyway. Is what it is. You give it a go. But we will get staff. In this local area here. And we will find nice ones. It just takes time. It's not our main focus. We have I have um, someone that's here all the time. For all of us. And there's not that many of us here. That are eligible to use it. So that's okay. Um. And I had my, I think I've said it, haven't I? Oh, yeah, I've had my medical OT appointment. <laughs> Seriously, guys, he was so immature. He was, like, older than me, but so immature. He just wanted to chat about life. Like, so unprofessional. We are dealing with AAT, mate, Okay. You're supposed to be focusing on the job. You're being an idiot. Anyway, you know, I offered him water. He goes, oh, no, I love a coffee. Sure. Okay. I mean, I'm happy to. Don't get me wrong. I'm not offended at, like, the sense that, look, if I offered a coffee, I would have been wrapped that he took it. But I didn't. He expected it. That I don't like. Because um, 
you being paid by the government to be here very well probably very well and um you shouldn't be here long enough to need a coffee and then he talks about coffee for quite a while apparently the Maccas one doesn't cut it for him I reckon they're pretty good oh the iced lattes oh my gosh yum good stuff Maccas Sponsor me. I'm joking. <laughs> My son worked for Maccas. He used to bring me home macaroons. Those were the good old days. Yeah. All of them are good. So actually, especially the coffee one. Coffee one's really nice. I am a coffee addict, aren't I? Mmm. But yeah, I liked the iced lattes. Mm-hmm. I like them. I like them a lot. But I don't like what they come in. Because I've got dyspraxia and I, I, I'm very heavy-handed too. Like I remember at school with the pencils, I'd break them all. <laughs> My special ed teacher. It will be the fourth time she'd be sharpening it. And I'm like, she's like, right, lightly, gently. And I'm like, oh, the pressure. Because, oh, that's funny. That's a funny word for it, isn't it? I wasn't good at doing things lightly. Even that's another two. Oh, dear. I'm a genius. I'm a liter literacy genius now. Yeah. From being dyslexic to... Yeah. Anyway. Anyway. I'm just being a smart ass now. So, Sir's doing his shower routine. He's getting ready. And this one... Well, he's just preparing for his day. Look at him. Rough life to be a cat. So, today I'm having... Trying to have a normal day for the first time in quite a while without anything on. Medically. NJS. Whatever, right? We're just recovering from moving, kind of. <laughs> yeah, I said my last she in hall was my last. What is my nose so shiny for? <gasps> I know I said that was my last she in hall because of the moving, but I've done another she in hall because of the moving. <laughs> I'm proud of myself. <laughs> anyway, um, and then, yeah, the last SDA. Oh, my God. We're all like coming down on t like a ton of bricks on them. Yeah, I, I'm getting my full bond back. That was a battle. <laughs> the games they played didn't win. Yeah, sorry about that. Not. Um, these guys are crooked guys. They have already got a couple of hundred thousand from me. Um, oh, from actually you taxpayers, you should be pissed because I paid my rent. Um, but basically the bond is coming back, but it's missing a couple of hundred and their little creative counting that they've been doing for two years that we were living there. It's like, oh, fuck. It's like, oh, my God. Like, seriously, Bill Short, and make it criminal quick, okay? Because these people, and I'm not saying that investors don't deserve investment money when they invest and rent out. They were getting three times a rental and kept it all and other stuff. Meaning, lots of money from taxpayers um, and our rent. So, the bond is two months late and then they write down the wrong amount. It's like, nah, nah, not desperate enough. That's what they're hoping we are. It's like, no, it's incorrect. <laughs> I have OCD with numbers. So, it's incorrect. So, anyway, I've got this feisty... Um, Support coordinator, and she's going in there, and she's like, uh, "No, I want this accounted for so-called hundred. I think it's one hundred ninety-nine dollars trying to rip us off for this so-called rent thing you put in because it doesn't quite make sense. Like, if you're in Australia, you know, you pay your four weeks rent in advance. Dirt, that's a bond that goes to the government bonds. Get that? I didn't even know if they put it in there. Oh, no, they did actually. They did, but they didn't put the full amount." Hmm, I wonder if that's an offence. Anyway, then they got this made-up money somewhere. They did they had their two weeks of rent in advance as well. And then this extra money, and it's like, well, what was this extra money for? We paid pet, pet bond as well. This isn't adding up. Like, I don't get it. So anyway, we're trying to get through the bullshit. 
because no one gets it because it's bullshit. <laughs> you can't make reason rubbish, can you? I mean, that's just facts. Um, facts are facts, and um, we've got all the proof. And it's easy these days, isn't it? With banks these days, I mean, you can get statements and go back two years if you need to. Um, we've got emails from them admitting it. I mean, the director actually said, oh, if you sign the new lease agreement, we'll give you back, and he put the correct amount of bond. <laughs> and it's like we sent that email back at them going, question mark? Are you fucking stupid? You people who are fraudulent out there, get smarter. Like, you're stupid. Like, seriously. That's why it's better to just be honest. Yeah. It's better to be honest because you don't have to do creative accounting when you're honest. You can answer questions off on the fly because I can. Because I'm honest with my money. I'm honest with where it goes. I'm honest about how it works. It's a lot easier. Just, just advice for anyone fraudulent out there. <laughs> oh, they'll go down eventually. Calm as a bitch. Seems to keep happening to people in my past. Oh my gosh. Yeah, my psychologist that tried to ruin my life. <laughs> One I saw years ago. Yeah, she just turned into a bitch about things towards me, right? She's really meddled in my life too far. And then I read in the newspaper that her partner, who's a psychologist. Yeah, having an affair with a 26-year-old. He's in his 60s, I think. I'd estimate. I don't know his age. I'm just guessing. But older. I'm not going to say old. God, I was going to say old then, but I'm like, I'm 50. That's not old. At all. It's pretty much the same, same, right? But I'm just saying, I'm not 20. If I was 26, that's like... So calm as a bitch, guys. Remember that. Remember about my GP I talked about that, that dismissed me? Mm-hmm. Look what happened to her too. So don't do anything bad because he's watching. <laughs> he's watching and calm as a bitch. What, the Jojo Siwa song? Calm as a bitch. I should have known better. <sighs> is, is that the words? I don't even know. My head just went weird. Hi, sir. Hello, you. Say hi to the pig. Oh, hello. Oh, look how pathetic he's been. My baby boy. Oh, stop oh, showing off for the father. Boy. The father. Oh, oh, oh. Father. I've got to show you something. Oh, my God. Star Wars. Star Wars. <laughs> Star Wars. Um, hi, Jessica. I loved having a chat with you recently. Um... Thinking of ya. And just Louise, sweetie, I'm the same. I feel the same towards you. Um, I care about you all who are going through what I'm going through, guys. Just know that, like, a real motivation of this channel when I'm sick, showing up anyway, is for people like you. Um, because... We all need something and I want to be the person that just gives it a go, right? Because, you know, I really do care. <laughs> Look at this. Even he cares. Oh, that's gorgeous. He cares. Okay, you care. So anyway, but look, if I ever get money, like in the lottery or something, I'll fly and visit all of you. Coming to Germany, going to England, I'm going to visit you all. I would. Okay, where is it? Where did he put... <gasps> right. Okay, do you want us to show it together, Sir Junior? No. Okay, let's bring it to the other room, guys. You've got to see this. You've got to see this. I'm hiding it from you. I'm not. Oh, my goodness. You're so excited? He's excited. Right, you ready? <sighs> Everyone can obey. But listen. Oh, hang on. Listen to what... Listen to what he says. Hello there. Hello there. Your move. Like Your move. May the force be with you. May the force be with you. I will do what I must. I will do what I must. Do you know how to turn the lightsaber on? Hello there. 
Hello there. Be mindful of your thoughts. Be mindful of your thoughts. Your move. Your move. I will do what I must. I will do what I must. So where's the lifesaver button? Where's the other I button? don't Next actually know. <laughs> Press the pouch. Huh? Press the, the pouch. Be with you. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Press it again. Oh, the pouch. <gasps> what? Oh. I'm in love with it. I love this. I love this. I'm very such impressive. a... Yes, it's very impressive. See? He's impressed. Very impressive. I'm very impressed. <laughs> Big W. I am such a tomboy. End of financial year. It's like 80%. Be right. mindful of your thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> he just took his power back. I know. He just took it back. I have the USB Give it back. ready. Give it back. You got power. I have a USB. You got power. That's the power I've got. I need to go to Officeworks. I gotta print out your medical Better appointment tomorrow. I told him, yeah. Hi. Six pages? You said one page. That was the short summary. <laughs> of a joint you give up. Oh, God. <gasps> <laughs> be mindful of your thoughts. Now, that's good advice, Obi Wan Kenobi. Is he meant to be wise? Very impressive. Very impressive. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. He's rather handsome, isn't he? Could be sexy. May the force be with you. Okay. I think he's flirting with me now. Okay. <laughs> Take him back. He's a bit naughty. No, it's fun. Okay. Right. So, I guess I'll get going. Thank you for watching a morning video. What is on my iPad? It gets so messy. OCD. Hey, Mona. <laughs> oh, I tell you what. When I'm stressed, Mona, I'm really noticing. And because I've been really stressed, and anyone else out there with OCD, if you can relate, I get very stressed. The OCD just goes nuts. And it just adds to the stress. And it's really disappointing because I have seen a um, psychiatrist many years ago at Perth Clinic. And, um, you know, like, he's like, oh, there's nothing much I could do. Like, you, you know, this is just... Mm. there's nothing you can do and I'm like mm, I live like this now the good bit is a bit like I'm doing now cleaning up my more stuff he wanted to mess things up and made that joke but that's that's the good bit of OCD but not the circle of thoughts what um, shoes am I getting you miss um LA gear white one for any kind la croix sweetie uh, la croix la croix la croix sweetie I love that show I love that show because they are funny and also they play. Don't be so serious like that nurse last night. Oh, my God. I don't think she has a sense of humour. I don't like people like that. I think be cautious of people who can't have a laugh, actually. I do. I do. I, I'm not saying that, like, at certain moments there is, is disrespectful to have a laugh. I get that. I'm not stupid. I am autistic and can get that wrong in the moment. <laughs> yeah, I am guilty of that. And I apologise. In the past and in the future. If I'm ever insensitive, because it'll normally be the lacking and the blind spots of my autism socially. Don't put them on the bed. Get them off I, the bed. I, I, Who I, puts shoes on I, beds? The perfect Ew. The amount I've of germs, the amount of germs in society that they walk through, ill, ill. Jesus. Think about what we should be all like. Who takes their shoes off? Which cultures? All you guys Japanese. know. Yeah, well, you know what you're doing, don't you? Tell him if you're Japanese out there. Tell him your culture because he. That's disgusting. We're not That's barefoot the... in the end of fours. Just because you look like Frodo from the, like one. from the I Shire. I run through Denmark in bare feet with tiger snakes everywhere because yeah, it's you, swampy. You're from the Shire. On the ocean. You know, Lord of the Rings. Bo oh, Bombo the amount Baggins. of snake encounters I have. Right, your shoes are ready. Tongues are And open. I was told the Laces dog would protect down. me and she didn't. 
She ran right around the snake. The naughty girl. Let's she relax. jumped up Check. on the porch and left me behind for the snake to attack me. The snake was as long as me because I was so little at the time. And you know what the worst bit was? I know you're going to think this is stupid, but I was a kid. The worst bit was I lost my bubble gum. It's not oh, often. No, hang on a minute. Bubble gum and chewies were not allowed. And so when I got hold of a bubble gum ball and got to chew on it, I used to keep it in the fridge for as long as I could. <laughs> That's ridiculous. On a plate. Right? Okay. And so that fell out of my mouth when I'm screaming and I'm standing. I knew, a tiger I needed... snake. That's okay. A dime a dozen in Australia. It was a full adult one. And That's I okay. was like tiny. Be right. I screamed. This is Australia, it mate. It fell out my mouth. And so they laughed at me when I got inside because I gum. said, I lost my bubble gum. And they're like, the kid could have died and she lost the bubble gum. She's worried about that. She well, could have been flown to Perth. No one got on and get off for you, did they? They're not very brave. No, they all stood on the porch looking at me. <laughs> all right. I wonder if Thumbs my up. grandfather would have done something. Comments Keep below. Subscribe and notification bell. Ding, 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 ding. And we'll see you in another episode. Bye. Bye, guys.